What's up, everybody? This is Steve Sterlacci. Today, we're going to talk about something slightly different than the usual, but kind of in the same ballpark. So on this channel, typically, we talk about uh, digital modeling, floor mo floor modelers, things that I take to gigs, to things that I take on tour into the studio. And I've been kind of wondering this because, you know, there's always like the discussions of like the people saying that tube amps are going extinct because of the modelers. And um, because the modelers are sounding so great nowadays and all this stuff that uh, tube amps are becoming extinct, they're on their way out. So I got thinking about that and came to the conclusion that maybe there's one step even further than that, and that is the actual modeling floorboards becoming obsolete. Um, whether it be like a rack-mounted fractal or a Helix, Kemper, Quad Cortex, all of those things really can be not only replaced, but also replaced with something potentially better and um more powerful and more compact. And what I've been messing around with is um, plugins. So there's a ton of different plugins that you can look at nowadays, and the options are really great. If you have a decent interface, you can have so much possibility when it comes to this stuff and like basic MIDI controlling, you can get some pretty sweet rigs and more customization and more options overall uh, by doing it this way. And I've been working with the guys at STL Tones. So this is using their STL Tone Hub, which is essentially their uh, their profiles. So these are all like these are all actual profiles of real amps and real setups and real studios. There's a whole library of different stuff that you can go through. And in this case, I'm using the Morningstar MC6 Mark II. I've had this in my closet for the longest time, and I just never got enough use out of it. So when STL asked me to do this video on, um, you know, kind of, they wanted me to do something about like how to assign MIDI using their pro using their app, but I kind of wanted to take a take a different spin on this because this is actually a good topic to talk about. Um, these floor modelers becoming extinct for for stuff like this for plugins and small basic MIDI controllers. I don't even have a MIDI cable in this. I'm controlling this through USB. This is going to my laptop. My laptop's going to my interface, and my interface is going to a DI box. So this is set up exactly how I would take it to a gig. And I've got my six foot switches here on the MIDI controller. And it's a pretty killer rig, and there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do here with this. So here's a good clean sound that's from the Michael Britt pack. I always highly recommend checking out the Michael Britt stuff. And I've got... Now, because these are all global, these foot switches, so I've only got to set up my foot controller once, and this same thing will be on any preset that I pull up. I'll just have to dial in the effects and save it. So right now, I've got this solid clean tone. And here... I could just start turning effects on. So that's the current delay setting. Probably not something that I would have dialed in um, for my uses, but as I get this ready for gigs, get a quick little dial in for some delay. And I can also go over to the stomp section and I've got the compressor already turned on, but now I can hit this with a drive pedal, um, all these come flat, so I've got to just... And now I can turn a drive pedal on again right from the same foot switch. So we've got a couple of great sounds there. And then, I mean, there's anything in here that you could think of too. I can go to this Soldano pack and I have SLO 30 behind me. So this is a sound that I really love. 
And you can just go through all these presets. So here's a high gain overdrive. <laughs> Probably not a sound for me, but hey, it's cool. And I can just audition high game sounds. Pretty good sustain on there. So now all of these settings also just hop over. So if I wanna hit the overdrive on. gain added from the overdrive. And it doesn't take a lot to actually program this. So um, this has what's called global... Uh, global bindings when it comes to your MIDI stuff. So you don't even have to do this per preset. So if I were to go to my MIDI menu, you'll see I have all of these options here and these are all the things that I have assigned to the six foot switches. I have two things assigned to my solo boost foot switch and those are gonna be considered global. So if I go to a different preset, but my my sounds are my, um, my foot switch assignments will carry over so now I have a drive sound or I have a drive pedal already assigned because I took care of that before. I've got, I can go to any preset I want. I mean, you can use the MIDI controller to bank to presets, typical normal stuff. Now say for instance, you get to a particular preset that you have and you can organize these however you want to pull them up in whatever order and you can call them up with the foot controller. Um, say I wanted to change effects. So right now on this preset, when I hit my effect, I get a tremolo. <laughs> But for this preset, instead of tremolo, I want this to be chorus. All you do is right click, hit MIDI learn preset, and then press the foot switch and now it'll turn it on. All you have to do is make sure this one's bypassed again. And you're gonna right click on the foot switch, MIDI learn preset, which is gonna overwrite the global. And now this is gonna turn your chorus on and off so you have a different effect. And then you have your little lush chorus. So I'm sure you can use your imagination and figure out how endless these possibilities are. Um, let me know in the comments if you are actually somebody that's already using plugins live and how it's working for you. Because I mean, this setup, I could definitely get used to. It's simple, easy to dial in. And with the STL stuff, there's just so many great options. And um, yeah, you think this is something that you could do for fly dates, for travel dates? Why not? They said tube amps would never go away and now floorboards. Who knows?